All right, so we are going to look at the 12 cranial nerves. So I'm gonna put these in different colors so that you can see the different things that I'm talking about. If you wanna put it in the same color, that is fine. So 12 cranial nerves, you need to know them in order. Like you need to know what number one is and what its name and what its function is. So the mnemonic device um, is what we are going to do first. So the first word is old. And then I'm gonna skip and go to the third line here. The second word is orange. The next one is octopus. Octopus. Trekking. T-R-E-C-K-I-N-G. Trekking. Through. A. Flowing. Volcano trekking through a flowing volcano, and I'm going to skip a couple lines here. Gets very, I'm going to skip an extra line. Awesomely. And the last one, skip a line, an extra one is hot. So that is my mnemonic device. So I'm going to say that to help me put the names in order. That's what I'm using this mnemonic device for. So let's go through and we're going to um, start working on some of the names. So number one, the first name of the first cranial nerve is olfactory, O-L-F-A-C-T-O-R-Y, olfactory. Okay, so we have an O and we have an O. That's how I kind of know how to place it. Specifically, sorry, an O-L and an O-L. Now, um, Kind of one of the things that I think about when I hear this is literally an old factory. So I'm going to draw a couple buildings, give it a smokestack, and we got an old factory. And in my head, I'm saying the old factory smells. The old factory smells. The function of the olfactory nerve is your smell. Now on top of that med term olfact means smell. All right let's do number two. Cranial nerve number two is optic. Optic. So again, O from my mnemonic device and O in the word. The definition of optic is vision, which that should make logical sense given the word. The definition is vision, so that's its function. So it's going to connect to the eye ball itself. Let's look at number three. Number three is oculomotor. And I have an OC and an OC. So if you look at this, yes, I have three O's, but what I did is I used words OL, O, and OC to help me know which O's go there. Oculomotor is eye movement. 
And if we look at our med term, ocul means eye and motor is movement. So it kind of gives itself away there. So oculomotor is eye movement. Number four, number four is trochlear. Again, we've got our TR and our TR. Definition for trochlear is also eye movement. Through is number five, and that is trigeminal. Trigeminal. So when we hear tri, med term should tell us that that means three. So I should have three functions here. So three things that this facial nerve is in charge of is the face, the teeth, and chewing. And again, I want to draw just a little picture. I'm going to give them a face, two eyes, a nose, and I'm going to give them a big mouth with some teeth, and I'm going to give them a piece of gum. We'll make it green because you didn't really see the gum. There, he's got some green food in his mouth. So I can see the face, I can see his teeth, and he's chewing a piece of gum. Number six, abducens. Oh, we forgot to mark for number five. I got a T and I got a T. So I know that my first T um, and then my second T. My A and my A. So with abducens, this is another eye movement. Now, these eye movements are going to move the eye in a particular way. So, for example, med term, we know A, B means out away from. So your eyeballs are going to move out towards the outside of your head. I am not making you know the specifics of the eye movement. I'm just letting you know each of them are going to move the eyes in a different direction. At this particular time, we're just learning eye movement. So abducens is eye movement. Number seven, flowing is facial. So F and F, and the function for facial is facial expressions, facial expressions, and taste. So that facial expression should, make, should be pretty straightforward with that one. All right, um, volcano, number eight, vestibule, vestibulo, coke, clear. So I have a V and a V here. Definition is hearing and balance, hearing and balance. Um, the vestibule is um, fluid in the ear. Ear for balance. And cochlear, if you've ever seen one of those, they're implants used. to help people with hearing loss. So they're gonna help people who have severe hearing loss um, to be able to, to help with that. All right, number nine gets 
Number nine is going to be Glosso Pharyngeal. Glosso Pharyngeal. So again, we've got a G and a G. And definition or function is tongue and throat. Tongue and throat. And med term, glosso, means tongue and pharynx is throat. Glosso is tongue and pharynx is throat. Number 10. Number 10 is vagus. Okay, so V and V here. Vegas is heart, throat, and digestive. So, how do we remember this? Well, I am running off to Vegas, so I'm going to go to... Vegas to get married. That's my heart. I run off to Vegas to get married and they have all these awesome restaurants in the hotel. So we're going to eat some food and that would be my throat and my digestive. So I'm running off to Vegas to get married and eat some food. Number 11, accessory. A C C E S S O R Y. Accessory. Again, A and A. And definition this is my neck muscles. And so, what are some um, accessories or things that I can add to my outfits? So, I can do a necklace or a scarf. And those can help, and those are going to go around my neck. Those are things that I can add to an outfit, an accessory. And then the last one is hot. Number 12 is hypoglossal. H and H. And again, we did glosso, so we know it's got to deal with the tongue. Okay, so this is tongue movement. Tongue movement. So med term is tongue. Now, if you paid attention, you noticed a couple of these letters repeated. Now we dealt with them with the three O's, but some of the other ones we didn't really deal with. So down at the bottom, I have a couple of statements. So the first statement, number three, number four, and number six. So three, four, and six, all are eye movement. So if you say those numbers in your head a couple of times, it'll stick. Three, four, six, eye movement. My A's, my two A's, so I have um, accessory is down here. And I have abducin is up here, are in alphabetical order. So I know my first A is AB, and my second A is AC. So my A's are in alphabetical order. Alphabetical order. Now the other letters that I have repeats are, are T and V. And by the time I get to the end of the alphabet, they're not in order. So they're going to be in reverse order. Okay, so I know when I get, I have a V here and I have a V here. So I know my VE comes before my VA and my TO comes before my TI. All right, we are going to stop there.